qualifying for extra airdrops simply by changing the way you do things on chain. What does this mean? That means that every time you need to make a swap on a decentralized exchange, you don't go automatically to Uniswap or PancakeSwap or any of the top DEXs. Instead, try to find decentralized exchanges that are legitimate, but they don't still have a token. Same works for bridges and even wallets. So those are the main topics for today. Also, near the end of the video, we have something very special coming from Coinbase and Brian Armstrong has made a great tweet about this yesterday. So make sure to stay till the end and let's jump straight in. Starting off with Socket, they have reserved 1 million Arbitrum tokens for their ecosystem dApps. They are building over 50 dApps and you can see some of their partners already in this post here. We'll be mentioning some of them today. So uh, the way this works is you, for example, go to their uh, Zapperfy uh, DEX and you simply use their on-chain activities tracker. They have a portfolio tracker swap or bridge. If you simply bridge over to Arbitrum or Arbitrum Orbit, which is like an Arbitrum layer two, also known as layer three, uh, you will be qualifying for a certain amount of Arbitrum tokens on the criteria already specified in their documentation. 70k is reserved for people who simply use the dApps, while 300k is reserved for people who bridge to Orbitrum, uh, Orbitrum, <laughs> Arbitrum or Orbit chains. Furthermore, we have also their main uh, bridge infrastructure called Bungie. They are one of the better bridges that I've seen in my airdrop adventures. And basically they are a aggregator that finds you the best route from many different chains to many different other chains. They have some really good exotic stuff such as Bay, Ziki Zinkera, EVM, Linea even, and thank God, Mental. So you can simply bridge from many different chains to many different chains. Uh, we also have the famous refuel option, where if you're stuck for fuel on a certain chain, then simply bridge from any of the chain that you need uh, to actually fund your new uh, adventures on a new chain. Next up, we have also Jumper. Jumper is ex Leafy uh, LiFi protocol, and they rebranded maybe a year ago. Same thing, uh, different app. You have an exchange where you have many, many great uh, chain supports. Even Metis is here the classic Linea Bay, ZKVM, ZK Sync era, and others. And they also integrated the gas refuel option from any chain that you want to basically most other chains that you need. We also cannot forget about Orbiter Finance. Uh, they are one of the best bridges when it comes to actual chain coverage, because if you cannot find a chain that you need to send a token from and to, there's a very, very high likelihood that you will actually find it on Orbiter Finance. They even have stuff like ZK Fair, ZK Sync Lite, Arbitrum Nova, Immutable X, so Zeta Chain, Scroll, Zora, Mode, they have really, really great coverage. And they've also introduced point system recently. So you can actually get points for different kinds of bridges. You can keep an eye out for that. Uh, currently they have a promotion going on with Mode. So if you bridge in or out of Mode with Orbiter, it would make a lot of sense to generate as many points as possible. So next up, we have also the bridge. They have created a post recently, actually today, that Unstoppable Tech needs Unstoppable Governance, which is a clear indicator they're planning to launch a token sometime in the future. So if you plan to use it, they also have a decent coverage. They also have cross EVM chain compatibility, which means you also have Solana as one of the chains that you can send tokens to. And of course, points are coming in the future. So yay, points. But yeah, it's also another alternative to adding to this assortment of bridges you're using. Next up, we have, of course, Big Daddy Stargate. If you're still not using Stargate, what are you even doing in crypto? They We've covered this many times. They have great transfer options from many different chains to many other chains such as Base, Linea, ZK Sync and so on. But keep in mind that this is usually best for actually stable coins because they have best liquidity there but you can also transfer different tokens from different blockchains. They have really, really good chain support as well, even Mental, which I really, really appreciate. So of course, LP, Farm and Stake, because obviously staking in the governance will qualify you to actually vote on Snapshot for Stargate DAO proposals, 
which could be an important player zero qualifier. Always keep an eye out for these because they're very time sensitive. From February 16th to February 19th, we have the latest vote, and this could be a very, very important one to keep in mind of. All right, moving into DEXs. As you remember, Matcha was one of those that was created by Socket Technology. So if you use Matcha during this time, you can also qualify for their Arbitrum promotion. Very simple, very straightforward UI, very good chain coverage. You have probably one of the more basic ones, such as Arbitrum, Polygon, BNB Chain, Optimism, even Base, and very good slippage. So nothing really to talk about much here. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> Also, we have Odos Protocol. Odos is actually one of my favorites because they have also very good chain coverage, also including ZK Sync. But most importantly, you can actually select multiple tokens that you can change, uh, that you can add, and swap multiple tokens into multiple other tokens, which saves you on time and gas fees. So you can also add to what other tokens you want to change into, and then uh, allocate basically the percentages you want in these chains and tokens. And lastly, we have Bebop, which is also hinting at an airdrop for quite some time now. But unfortunately, they only have three chains covered, so Ethereum, Polygon, Arbitrum. But they also have a pretty sleek UI and potentially airdrop in the future. Now, the very, very important strategy that you need to actually use when you're farming DEXs and bridges is to make sure that a certain wallet is farming only certain dex or bridge because many of them actually have cutoff criteria that you should have at least five or ten transactions over the course of a couple months that way if you have for example hundreds of transactions on your wallets but specific wallets don't have at least five or ten per per bridge or per dex then you will not qualify this is what happened with a cross bridge when they airdrop their token this is what happened with zigzag exchange when they airdrop their token make sure to have your wallets specifically farming a certain decentralized exchange or bridge the way you can keep this organized is of course with santiago's airdrop tracking app which has been developed for over a year now and it's a really great way to keep things organized but you can also simply name your wallets saying like this one is using only lifa which is jumper exchange or matcha or you can call for example one of them odos or bungie so keep things organized keep things in check and looking at the topic of wallets, instead of just using MetaMask all the time, you can import your MetaMask wallet into Rabbi or Rainbow. And this way, on one day you use MetaMask, on the next day Rabbi, third or fourth day Rainbow, and simply passively qualify for wallet airdrops simply by doing stuff on chain on a different wallet. Let's not forget to also use the MetaMask swap and bridge functionalities because hopefully in this decade MetaMask <laughs> will actually airdrop their token, but you can already start accumulating points on Rainbow and on Rabbi Wallet simply by using them on a regular basis. Uh, this also same functionality works on different chains. For example, on Kepler Wallet for Cosmos, you also have Leap Wallet. And for Solana, you have different projects such as Backpack, you have Phantom, obviously Phantom is the main one. You have Soulflare and Soulflare's MetaMask Snap, which has been quite a blast to use over the last few months. We have many, many different strategies to use and of course, different DEXs and bridges to use. But honestly, they're a bit degen, so um, they're probably going to print much harder than the ones we talked about today. But I honestly don't, don't feel comfortable sharing them on a public video because they're also much, much riskier to use. So if you want top-notch quality information regarding all of these updates, feel free to join us in our Discord where we talk about all these things daily with another 500 amazing DeFi experts just changing and sharing information daily. Lastly, we're going to talk about Coinbase stock and the news we have from Q4 earnings because Brian Armstrong has made a really cool tweet about this yesterday. If you want to take a look at this, it's basically saying Coinbase is amazing, we're the best. But more importantly, we have their NFT, which is actually stated here. NFT is a soul bound, not for resale or trading, just something to keep for yourself for reasons you can probably imagine. So, as we all know, the alarm bells for airdrop are going crazy. This is all just speculation, but they've hinted at it for multiple times already. And if you plan to actually do stuff on base, if you think that base will eventually airdrop one day, this NFT is something you definitely need to have. It is basically on their official website. It is on base chain. 
So they have going, wow, almost 200k in just one day, wild. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is the update for Coinbase we wanted to mention. Have an amazing day and till next time.